hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use lucid chart on google docs let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in google docs i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go lucid chart is a powerful diagramming tool and you can easily integrate it with google docs to insert diagrams into your documents now before you can integrate or use lucid chart on google docs you might want to start with a new document if you haven't already just click on the lucid chart create a blank document but if you want to create from template so that you're not going to be able to start from scratch you just have to click on the templates and these are going to be the recommended templates that you can begin your work with all right so you can start from a sprint planning storyboard presentation template flow chart and maybe let's look for something like a flow chart if you want to preview with this just to make sure that this is going to be the uh, template that we're going to use we can start with this uh, basic template wherein we can clearly define and visualize these steps in your process now if you're um, happy with this just click on the use template you will be forwarded to the template builder or diagram builder wait for it. it takes a little while and then here let's try to add some uh, more elements i'm going to rename this as this one i'm going to add the picture or an image gonna click on import image from my computer all right so i'm gonna put it here probably around the center to make it the elements more interactive all right hold on a little bit there you go and then i'm going to click the document settings to make the diagram more interactive by changing the background color into this so it's um kind of like i'm um, easier to be noticed so once you've done that click the control save or save it for the file all right and then the next thing that we can do is go to the google docs now if you haven't already you might want to create your account here in google uh, google account or so that you'll have an access to the google apps and services including google docs from here we can start a new document or start something like a like from a template if you click the template gallery you would receive all these resumes letters personal work maybe let's use this the uh, project proposal it will be forwarded here it takes a little while and then i'm going to rename this as this one right here all right and i'm going to add the photo now once you have loaded all the information here in google docs i want you to click the tools and extensions or extensions and click the add-ons click the get add-ons and in the google workspace marketplace we need to search for the lucid chart diagrams all right so you might want to hover here if you can't find it by default you might want to click the search apps let's type in lucid chart press enter and there you go all you have to do is click this lucid chart add-ons you would notice that you can collaborate on diagrams such as flowcharts, wireframes, ERDs, and more. All you have to do is click the uh, install button right here. And as you can see, Lucidchart has been installed. All right, click on done. So if you wa want to uninstall the Lucidchart into your Google Docs, just click on this small button right here. Now, there is a, an option here once we've done that click on the extension add-ons once you have successfully added the lucid chart here all you have to do is go to the extensions click the add-ons and click the manage add-ons search for the lucid chart and then all i have to do after that is make to make sure that you can insert a diagram using lucid chart here in the insert option all right now next thing is if you want to use this file as a part of a link on google docs all you have to do is go to the uh, file section here you have an option to click on the export button all right you can use this as a pdf 
form of diagram png jpeg svg or svg with transparent background so you have all these now if you wanted to use this diagram as a png or jpeg let's click that you would be forwarded to this section all right now all we have to do is for example use a png instead and then include page fill let me cancel this for now and then go again to the file click on publish all right a full document pdf or a single page image click the publish button it will generate the link for you link copied and then switch over to your google docs from here click the insert button and go to the link Click on apply and you would be able to put in this or insert a link again. You have two options. Click this, click on apply. All right. Go to insert, go to the image, and click the diagram that you have generated from Lucid Chart. And you should be able to paste it with no problem at all. All right. Because Google Docs and Lucid Chart are seamless apps working together. Because diagrams such as flowcharts, like here, mind maps, and orange charts simplify complex ideas, making it easier for readers to understand key points. Lucid Chart add on, like this one allows you to create or insert diagrams directly within Google Docs, eliminating the need to switch between multiple tools. All right, again, all I have to do is look for Lucid Chart. It provides a variety of wide templates, customization options, enabling you to create polished and professional visuals suitable for reports, proposals, and presentations. Now, you can also install Lucid Spark and Lucid Scale if you wanted because both Lucid Chart and Google Docs support real time collaboration. So, teams can work together on diagrams and documents simultaneously. And all you have to do is go to the share button. If you want to share this to your um, clients, your team members, you can do that and give them an access level a viewer, commenter, and editor. Right? Similarly, you can also do the same thing here in Lucid Chart. Go to the share button. Can add people here. You can put in the uh, the uh, permission level so that they can comment and suggest, and will be added to the diagrams for clearer communication, which is helpful if you're working with multiple freelancers along with their clients. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.